and in a self-denying way denied themselves time, money, energy to serve. And I've seen the result in such people. So don't think Christianity is a life of ease. And if God has decided that your father-in-law or mother-in-law should live long and you should look after them, you can be sure he will not allow you to be tested beyond your ability. And he will know exactly when to take them home or take them away or somebody else to care for them. It's a test of your faith in God. And very few people have faith in God. I tell you, a lot of people in CFC who seem to understand the doctrine so well and who think they are very, very spiritual, who imagine themselves, they are not. Don't follow their example. So I'm not here to make rules on what you should do. All I say is do not think that the best Christian life is one where your convenience is never disturbed. No. I've seen parents who got retarded, mentally retarded children, saintly mothers. And I've, got, I've seen other mothers who are proud of their you know, smart children. They may not be so spiritual. I'm not saying you can't be spiritual if you have smart children. It's a question of attitude. And if you, God has to allow for our sanctification, God has to allow some type of self-denial in our life somewhere. Otherwise, we'll never grow spiritually. Those of you who have a very comfortable life and nothing to disturb it, you have no difficult in-laws, plenty of money, nice house, and uh, drive along on Sunday morning in your nice car to a church and attend worship, sing the songs and listen to the message and come home. You can imagine that you're highly spiritual. I want to tell you, you may not be, even if you're in CFC. It's those who've gone through trial, particularly through years of self-denial and sacrifice for the Lord's sake, who are spiritual. Some of you may feel sorry for some of those other um, poor wives who have to deny themselves so much with difficult in-laws or difficult children, perhaps. But in the long run, you'll find when our true glory shines forth through us in eternity, you'll find that those are the ones who are really godly. And those of you who escaped that path and chose the easy path, um, you miss the glory that you could have had, that God gave you an opportunity to have, but when you came to that fork in the road, you chose the easy path. I remember reading a poetry, it's a secular poetry, which says uh, two roads diverged in the wood and I chose the road less traveled. That means there was grass on that path. The other path was well trodden and I chose the road less traveled and that has made all